Welcome to Cooking with Frankie Meatball. Today, I'm here with a good friend of mine and a meatball maniac, Nicole. Thanks for having me over. She's going to make for you a New Jersey tomato pie. I'm Frankie Meatball with the YouTube cooking show. I'm Frankie Meatball on the cooking show with you. I'm Frankie Meatball every Wednesday in the show. I said it, you heard it, it is fun. I'm Frankie Nicole, well, thanks for inviting me over to your home. Thank you. It's really good to learn how to make a New Jersey tomato pie with basil. Like I said, you gotta give them the meatball test. You know the yeah. meatball test, right? <laughs> yep. Somebody don't like basil, you dump them. You dump right. them fast. That's it. Is this a family tradition thing it's, that you do? It's not. It's just something that I made up one day. I, was, I had a lot of tomatoes. I love Jersey tomatoes. It's now you grow your own? No, no, I go all local. To my, my local um, markets where I live in Sweetsboro, so we have plenty plenty to choose from, you know. Um, um, I have a couple favorites, you know, for Sally's, <laughs> you know, but. Check out the link at the end of my video for making pizza dough. I got two recipes, one with fresh yeast and one with dry active yeast. So, or be lazy, especially when you're busy, who's got time, you know? Get yourself, go to shop right, and get yourself some pre-made dough or your local pizza place. Which is better than shop right. No offense, mm -hmm. no, you know. No, I agree. So, all right, so we got this. We're going to open that up, right? Mm -hmm. oh, you want to open that up? Sure. I'll sprinkle some yep. flour here. Mm -hmm. So if you get a 16-ounce package, you cut it in half, it's going to make two. Mm -hmm. So I kind of just warm it into a circle. Makes it easier. Okay, you want to give it a, a turn. Now, what, what size uh, pans do you use? Uh, I might use a nine inch uh, pie dish. Okay. Um, sometimes, you know, with the gluten, you kind of have to help it along a little bit. Um, now, this is kind of like the Easter pie, right? Yeah. Well, not quite. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> you cook it in a, because like the Easter pie, yeah. you cook it in a pie pan. In a pie pan, And yeah. you use pizza dough. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I make it large enough to hang over the edges of the um, pie dish because you want to make sure you uh, have enough room to let it slide into, okay. the, into the pan. You know, I'm not, uh, I don't make it perfect. I kind of like that more rustic kind of, kind of look. This should be big enough. Um, I'm going to put a little olive oil in here. Perfect. This is regular olive oil, not extra virgin. No. Mm -hmm. And then I just take the paper towel and smear the whole pan. Just put it in there. And pull it up over the sides to make sure that it's in that crease. So I kind of give it maybe a little pinch here or there, just kind of help hold it until it starts to relax a little. Okay. So what I usually do is because I make multiple pies at a time, um, because you know one's not good enough. <laughs> <laughs> the neighbors smell it. They right. come over yeah, and go. Oh, deliver one pies tomorrow, again. You know. <laughs> yeah. This looks pretty good. And then you want to make sure that you, you take a fork and you're going to dock it. Because you want to get some of those air bubbles. You don't want it to get air bubbles. And What's it called? Up. Just a docker, but I use a fork. You don't need any fancy tool. I kind of do the sides a little. So that's pretty much it. And then I'll hit it with some olive oil again. Um, and I'll smear it around in there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the hand this time. You gotta work with your hands. That's right. It's the best kind of work. It's the best tool that was ever invented. Okay, and then I'll put this in the oven at 400 degrees. Oh, you cook it? 
and I first. Cook it first. Yep. All right, so you get your you get you get your dough, you put it in the pan, and then how long do you cook it on 400? It's usually five ten minutes. Five ten minutes. You know, everybody's so you always fully cook it. it or yes, I do because actually when the tomatoes go in, it's not going to be cooked down, broken down. You still want that bite of the tomato. All right, let me get that oven for you. Thank you. All right, so we put that in an oven at four hundred. For about, she said, what, five, ten minutes? Five, ten minutes. Until yeah. your dough's done. You don't want it too burnt. All right, so we have the pie in the oven. Mm -hmm. Next time, we're going to slice some tomatoes. Mm -hmm. These, again, aren't homegrown, but they're from your local farm market. Support your local farm market. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So how many uh, tomatoes do we use? Um, depending on the size, maybe five or six. Five or six? Mm -hmm. Do you slice them any certain way? Um, I slice them a little thicker. Um, and I take the core out and uh, I cut the I cut the tomato butt off. This, that's just a personal thing. You, you got know. a knife? I'll help you. Sure. You want to slice them about yeah, quarter inch, half inch? Yeah. Is it more like personal preference? Yes, absolutely. So you can slice them thick if you mm -hmm. want them thick, thin. It's up to you. I, I love Jersey tomatoes, so I leave them alone on the thicker side. All right, so we got our tomatoes cut. What's next? Well, we're all ready to put the pie together. Do you cut your basil? Um, yes, we can do that. I have uh, some of the leaves pulled off. And how much basil do you should use? Is um, that preference? That's just preference too. Like I, I work with girls. You can't put a basil leaf in there, or I'm like, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> You know what I say about the dust, you want to pass the meatball test. So, you know, I stack up maybe, maybe 12, roll them up. You know, roll them up. You do a nice little chiffonade, chiffonade cut, and um, pretty simple. Comes out in nice little strips, whatever. Did you ever try to put fresh garlic in it? I have, but it stays a little too crunchy for me. Okay. Um, so if you do it... You pretty should, much you roast it, it first. A bit, roast it, roast it, garlic. That would be nice. Sometimes I'll fry eggplant, put a layer of fried eggplant inside, or some brisket. Right. Um, some broccoli rabe. Broccoli rabe. Yeah, you, you, it's free range, really. Whatever you like. All right, we got the basil, the tomatoes. Let's check on the uh, pie shop. How about that. So the pie shell, well not the pie shell, but you know, the pizza pie shell, has been in the oven for about 10 minutes, I would say. You see a nice color there. A little brown bubbles, very good. Not overdone, because this is going to cook more. The edges are going to cook more. Once we put the tomatoes in, I'm going to set potatoes, tomatoes. You know, what's the difference? There's a lot of difference, but still. Anyway, so construct this thing. Okay. So. Like I said, you can use pretty much whatever you want. Um, we like we like provolone in here. So I always put a layer of cheese down the bottom to help um, so that the bottom doesn't get too soggy. Kind of puts a little layer in there. Okay. Um, it makes it better. Yes. The, um, the tomato. But it's not cheddar because everything's better with cheddar. Sure. But it's still good. <laughs> <laughs> So um, we do that with a little bit of problem. Got some moots. Some moots. Okay, and then I start layering the tomato. You see, you uh, just go around. It's usually about two layers of tomato that'll fit. Depending on how thick you cut them. Right, how thick, how big they are. Sometimes the, the tomatoes are gigantic. Um, next. Now put some seasonings on this yep. layer. Mm -hmm. I like the granulated garlic. Like I said, next time I think I'll try it with the roasted garlic. Smash it up. Nice. That'd be good. Um, so then we do a little salt, a little pepper. I like your form. I got your form. <laughs> um, How about some basil? I do basil, but first I do a little bit of the ah. Just be careful. You know, you use a lot of cheeses. Be careful with your salt. You don't want to make it yeah. too, too, too salty. Okay, so. So you're going to put some of your basil in there. Gotta have the basil. Gotta have the basil. It's good stuff. With tomatoes, basil. Mm -hmm. 
Then I have some moats. Mm -hmm. We've got a map. Next, I put a little bit of the shredded cheese. Okay. Okay. It's kind of you know blend with the smoked mozzarella, uh, smoked provolone. So you, you get the uh, mixed cheese in a bag. Yeah. Supermarket. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or you can grate up your own, whatever you have at home. More cheese. More cheese. Holy moly. <laughs> More cheese. <laughs> it actually doesn't seem like that much cheese. Oh, it looks like a lot of cheese. It looks like a lot. It looks like a lot, but it's really not. Well, then you gotta put more if it's not. Right. <laughs> more cheese, tomatoes, basil. Come little, on. A little more moths. Just kind of break it up. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little push. I'm gonna try and get as much in there as you can. Then. So you got cheese, tomatoes, cheese, tomatoes, and then more cheese? We're gonna do some tomato and then more cheese. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and some more spices. Oh. You gotta layer. Layer your flavors. I'm gonna hit it with some more spice. Help you out. Sure. I don't have good good enough form like you, but <laughs> I, mean, I can hold my own. There you go. Looks great to me. A little salt because mm -hmm. you got a lot of cheese. We like pepper, so you can, you can hit it with some pepper. Give it a little more. Sure. Basil? Uh, you have, I always do the Lucatelli and then the basil, but you can do however you would like. This is your recipe. <laughs> I don't want to kill it, you know? Yeah, no, you're doing great. Is that enough cheese? Because I can perfect. keep going. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, because I like the, like the Lucatelli. <laughs> I'm going to put that cheese on there. Yep, stay right on there. Now do we go all the way to the edge like that? I, I bring or let the tomatoes kind of stand out a little bit? I do let them stand out here and there. Like I just, you know. Or something like that? Nothing, uh, it's nothing perfect about this. Just, you know. Now you this go. ain't going to run down, is it? No. Really? Yep. Put some mozzarella in there. And top it off. We're going to put this back in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until all your cheese is melted. If you want that cheese melted with the tomatoes, we'll see you back in 5 to 10 minutes. Nice and nice, nice color around here. You got that nice char on the cheese. Now it's time for the best part, more basil. Mm. Just smell so good, very good. That's it. Oh, you want some more? Oh, 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 look at that. More basil, the better. I love basil. <laughs> Nice and nice, huh? So this is more of like a summertime treat, isn't it? Because yeah. it, it, it it smells like summer. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like she says, it's the end of the season. You still could get your tomatoes, your Jersey tomatoes. You gotta say Jersey tomatoes or it's not gonna taste the same. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so amazing job. Thanks Thank again you. for inviting the meatball over it and sharing this recipe. If you like what you saw, hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on that bell notification button to get notified every Wednesday when I put out a new video. Check us out on TikTok. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram. Like us on Facebook. Email me if you want me to come to your house and you want to cook on the Meatball Show. Let me tell you guys, you want a sticker, email me your address and I will send it out to you guys. Everybody's got to have your meatball sticker. Again, check out my guys, phillyrockradio.com. You play anything from the four fighters. They got BAM! Mothers of Rock. They have a huge local scene. Don't forget, Thursday night, 7 to 9, live with Johnny E and Kevin and the smell is just coming over, it's making me more hungry than I already am. I gotta go, she's gotta go, we gotta go. So we're gonna tell you, until next time. Forget about it, eh? It's a funky meatball production. Perfect. That was awesome. <laughs>